I'm Jamie Tiampo, and I'm insatiably curious. Together, we'll explore everything about food, one ingredient at a time. Almost 200 years ago, American farmers began crossbreeding European cattle to withstand the cold climate of the New World. The lineback emerged as an ideal animal to provide early farmers with meat, milk, and oxen to plow their fields. Every month, a group of chefs called the District Hogs gets on their motorcycles and visits a different farm to see where their food comes from. Let's go! The District Hogs ride out on their bikes all over the eastern seaboard, seeking the best local ingredients for their restaurants. I'm rolling with them today to visit Chapel Hill Farms of Virginia where Joe Henderson is reviving the Randall Lineback, America's rarest cow. What first made you decide to go into the business of uh, raising Randall Linebacks? I found out that these were the, the most endangered. These are critically endangered. That's below watch, that's below rare, that's, there aren't many of these and they will die if somebody doesn't do something. Joe restored the farm to its former glory and made it his responsibility to save the Randall Linebacks. Can you tell me a little bit about the history of the Randall linebacks? These cows were the ones that built America. They were good for meat, they were good for milk, they were good for oxen. Joe started breeding the cows and courting some of the top chefs in the country to buy his grass-fed, pasture-raised rose veal. He's saving the cows by eating them. They're rare because they don't fit the industrial agricultural system. The question is, what are they good for? These animals are unique in the high protein, low fat of their meat. They have a very clear, clean, fresh, bright flavor. And if there's such a thing as a cow that's good for you, this is the cow that's good for you. The animals live a life that I wouldn't mind, roaming freely on the farm, feeding on a diet of grasses and fresh limestone spring water. This is where the cows get their water. This is wild watercress that just kind of pops up in the spring. The water here comes from an underground aquifer, which is just beautiful, clean, and clear. When you look at these cows, you're looking, at, you're looking back into the history books. You're looking at something that I don't think should be let disappear. They're robust, they're tough, they're easy, they're pleasant, they're beautiful, taste good. You know, I can't find a thing wrong with these cows. And this is a perfect time to go talk to the chefs and see how it's made. All right.